But we had a uh, Karoti versus Sua Black. Yeah, Stefan Karoti what versus Sua Black. First off, fight. shout out Nate in the Discord group. Uh, said they're not fighting in Thailand. They're fighting in Thailand. Sua Black's legs. <laughs> hey, dude. for real. Oh my Massive. god. Oh for anybody god. that watches uh, football as well, you have Saquon Barkley who has tree trunks for thighs. And I saw Sua Black's thighs <laughs> last night. And I was like, "Yeah, boys, thighs are pretty close." Dude, Those are crazy. pretty close to Saquon Barkley's. Those were insane, <laughs> and I cannot imagine uh, getting kicked by one of those suckers, dude. I'd be done for the yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, just – they made a video of him talking about how everybody where he's from has just crazy lake genetics. And the weeks leading up to this, they're just posting videos of him, like, kicking through trees and just, like, doing all this crazy lake shit because his legs are just insane. Um, and, and the fight, props to Stefan Karoti because uh, I was not familiar – uh with him going into this i'll be honest um and i was like sue black probably gonna steamroll this dude no disrespect i just don't know you but i know sue black and in the first round it was a lot of sue black doing pretty much whatever he wanted you yeah know, it was uh it was catching the kicks really well dude, look at the difference in legs in this picture though i <laughs> dude his thighs look ridiculous dude jeez that is insane it looks like Photoshop, like they messed up the Photoshop a, on that. Just a couple dudes here just admiring another man's thighs, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're here for, you know? Thank you for joining on this late night episode of uh, Story of the Fight. <laughs> Special edition. Yeah. Oh, man. But, but dude, um, just so you know, like, you know, every year we go through and we do fight of the year contenders, fight of the year, uh, you mm -hmm. know, awards and stuff like that. I wrote this one down as the first one of the year that I'm considering – to be fight of the year. And I know it's early. There's always that recent. But you got to put it on the board so you don't forget it. Yes. Yes. And this one went on the board. Yeah. Same here. This I one went on the board immediately. So on my notes. What was it? The second round when uh, Karoti drops to a black. Well, hold, and everybody's like, let's just, what is going on? We can, we can watch it. Let's just watch <gasps> it. Oh, let's, let's just do watch. it. Austin, Austin says, this fight was nuts. It's a perfect example of why one's brand of Muay Thai has become quality, equally as entertaining to me as high level MMA. Uh, it's nonstop action and gets me so hyped. A hundred percent. Oh, Couldn't same. Said it better myself. First round, it looks like Sue Black is just gonna do whatever he wants. He's catching the kicks. He's landing these big shots. He's landing crazy leg kicks, elbows, knees, and you're like, "Look, Karoti, you're tough as nails, man." But it's only a matter of time. And by the way, the second Sue Black, round starts. By the way, when when he catches that kick, though, it's not just catching it, right? Like he catches, mm -hmm. pulls in, and then yeah. comes up top, which it's is a Mortal like, Kombat shit. You, you yeah. expect to hear? You expect to get over here, and then. It was because that's what he does. Dude, I saw it. I was like, "Oh it. man, if you're Karoti, you're like, well, I'm guess I'm going along for the ride. Like, what am I gonna do? I'll like, I, like all I could do is try to defend, right? And there was one where he caught it and boom to the body, and Karoti's mm -hmm. guarding up high, and you just see Karoti's face like, oh, dude, yeah, like that's, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it was awesome. Austin says, "Not gonna lie, I th I thought Sue Black was dead when he got dropped. It looked bad. Oh yeah, and it looked so bad that we should just watch it. Yeah, Let me know yeah. if you have audio, yeah." Yeah, body body body. Life. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So that's Sue Black, obviously with the crazy legs. <laughs> it's just a three-minute round, so it'll be quick. And then Karoti throws the kick off, the, off catching it and he ducks under it. Austin says, "Could you imagine eating any of those kicks, those shots from Sue Black? I'd craft a one-leg kick. Yeah, I'd be done. You take a seat and say, thanks. Can I have my show money?" And again, and again, man, the, the uh, Muay Thai, Thai body four ounce ounce gloves. gloves. Here it is right here, I think. It's coming up, I think. Yeah, that Ooh. stutter there. Karoti goes off beat, drops him with the right hand, and you can tell even he's like, holy shit. I don't even he's wobbly. wobbly. Yeah. No, Karoti, he puts his hands up like, I cannot believe I just did that. Do I have power in these hands? Can I land? And so he goes in for the kill. Like, I just dropped this guy. I could get him out of here. And Sue Black has him up on the ropes. And, you know, <clears throat> you talk about guys who can survive under fire. Both these guys. Both these guys. He's still going on for the hunt. You think At this point, I'm thinking Sue Black's done. Like, but he lands the elbow and drops him. And you're like, holy shit. Trading knockdowns. And Crody's like, motherfucker. This is where I bail. If I'm Crody, I hop off the ropes. So hyped, dude. One and one. Catches the kick. Look at him pull it back and lay it up. And then another elbow to drop him. 
that's that get over. The way he holds it, holds it, pulls him in, and then lands the shots, and then he comes over the top with the elbow. And props to Karoti, man. Because if he gets dropped again here, it's over. You got a minute left, and Sue Black's chasing you like this. Nice uppercuts in the clinch there. Olivier Cost just getting in there. Big left hand from Sue Black and an elbow. But then Karoti throws back, and then a big left hand from Sue Black and a big right hand and a big left hand. And then goes to the body. I mean, what is going on here? Absolute chaos. Crody's like, I thought I dropped him. Did I drop him? Was that tonight? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. The spinning back elbow, dude. I mean, look at Karoti's face, dude. And then there's Sue Black catching the kick, pulling him in. And then a big left hand and an elbow. And a Superman punch to end the round. I mean, just insane. And we'll let it run here so we can watch the, uh, the replays as well in slow motion. I'll cut the audio. Austin says, uh, I was shocked Karate made it out of round two. Also, I thought the rule was their knockdowns per round before it stopped, but it's per the whole match, apparently. I think the commentary messed up maybe when they said that. But there's the stutter step for the right hand from Karate to drop him. Beautiful stuff. We talk about going off beat all the time. And then there's the big elbow, the first knockdown for Sue Black. And then here's the caught the kick. The Mortal Kombat, get over here. He clubs him with a couple shots and then steps in with the elbow. I mean, just beautiful work, dude. I mean, like yeah, you said. I think that's where, like with the Muay Thai, right, where in a regular MMA fight, sometimes people look to get in closer to close that distance to make it hard for a wide shot to come in or a long straight to come in. But with all these uh, Muay Thai fighters where you're coming in close and then they had that way of working in the elbow, from so many yeah. different angles that it's still extremely dangerous, right? So it's so hard to yeah. get away from from that type of pressure. But also, Karoti, after you get dropped, man, you might say like, okay, he's got his wits about him again. Let me take mm -hmm. it a little easy, huh? Yeah. But there is no taking it easy with Karoti, man. I, I, I think no. he wanted to come in. He wanted to make a statement. He said, hey, I dropped this fool. Like, I've already shown I can hurt him. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to put him out. This is it. Yeah. I'm going to go out on my shield if need be, you know, but this is it. Yeah, and to get dropped both times like that, he could have sat down and stayed down on any of those, you know, and nobody would fault him for that. You would just yeah. be like, yeah, he knocked him out. I do. Nope. I really think, though, that the elbows were the difference for uh, Sua Black. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. And uh, I, I do want to give a shout out to uh, the commentary team during this fight, especially with the whole night. I thought they were fantastic. And, and you know, um, normally they have three in the booth. This This night they did not have Rich Franklin, which I do like Rich Franklin, but. I really think two-man commentary is the way to go. It's yeah. the way to go. Because in moments like this, this fight is a perfect that, that round is a perfect example. If you listen to the commentary in that round, it's just two people back and forth. They're not talking over each other in the craziness. And you can still have the commentary be oh, that meaningful. Shot. I know. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Graphic warning, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I like how you, you like, uh, give you the like graphic blood. warning after you put the picture up and Rich enlarges it. Yeah. <laughs> And by the way, uh, everybody uh, listening, I'm really sorry uh, if you were getting a big echo as I was talking when the video was on. Our producer, Rich, let me know uh, that we had an echo going, oh. so our bad. Our bad. Yeah. That's why I just uh, kind of quieted uh, <laughs> down when the videos were playing. But yeah, I mean, a great fight. Again, right off the bat, beginning of the year, right? Fight contender of the year for me right away. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing Sua Black again. Yeah. I mean, look at this picture. I mean, look at this, this dude's oh, leg, dude. Come on. That, that that also looks like some straight out of video game. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. What a fight. Uh, fantastic job. This, like I said, kind of carried the event. This is the lasting impression for me, at least this fight. Um, yeah, fantastic. Hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full 
fight card recap. Uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.